Alright, this is um, what I need to take care of for myself. Reading or the self-care reading. Um, mostly talks about your physical need, your emotional need, your mental need, um, spiritual need, and how you currently feel. Um, so <laughs> it's kind of like a checkup. Um, I'm turning more and more into the therapist every day. I'm sorry. Ugh, but it happens. Alright, so pick from the frog, ladybug, or the green apple. So pick whichever you want, and we'll get started. Physical need for the frog group. The Four of Cups in reverse. So displeased with relationships, partnerships which have run its course, lack of excitement, lack of enthusiasm. So um, you might need something more exciting or something new. Or oh, excuse me. It's probably very boring if I'm yawning like that. And so you might need some enthusiasm in your life, uh, don't we all? All right, and then we we have the emotional. Um, what you need. Emotionally what you need. Um, the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups is abandonment, travel, um, end of a relationship, um, walking away, letting go. Maybe this relationship that you're in has run its course and you just don't know how to say goodbye so you're like I just gotta leave. Like I just gotta ghost this person. I can't stay here like bye and that's it just up and go and then we have mentally what you need Ugh. we have the page of cups the page of cups is idealism youthfulness um like so, somebody who's like enthusiastic or you know has good news kind of a little naive um, but you need somebody who's just like either funny for no reason or just looks at the world in a different way that you yourself probably have never seen the world before you want some of that excitement if that makes any sense whatsoever. Um, so, the youthfulness, the looking through new eyes, looking for, through somebody else's eyes. Um, maybe you've seen the world in very gray, black, or just haven't seen it in a while and you want somebody to come in with a fresh pair of eyes. Um, then we have spiritually what you need. Um, the Empress. The Empress is femininity, nurturing, fertility, nature, beauty, abundance. Um, so spiritually you just need somebody who's like more on a spiritual level will kind of be a nurturing force for you. Also very, just a beautiful mind. If that makes any sense. Alright, how you currently feel. The tower. Sudden change. Release. Painful loss. Tragedy. Uh, revolution. A resolution. Revelation. Uh, spiritual revelations. Alright, um. 
So it could have been like a sudden change or something, or sudden shocks, something in your relationship wasn't working, whatever the case. Uh, something's just, yeah. But I would say heal um, a little bit before you do anything. But yeah, you're kind of trying to attract that. You might need to meditate, heal, um, yeah, find stuff that's within your realm of like what you like to do. Try to find somebody on those bases. Um, anyway, group one. If you like this reading, leave a like. If you like what I'm doing on here, subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, ideas for my next video, you know I read everything you give me. So just leave it in the comment section and I will read those. And thank you for watching frog group. I will see you in the next reading, alright? Bye now. Uh, let's see. We have ladybugs. Alright, ladybug group. We have your physical need. Um, the ace of pentacles. The ace of pentacles is new beginnings, prosperity, gain, stability, abundance. So, you need something that's different, I think, completely. Something, something to make you think, something to make you go after, sought after enterprises, um, and make your mark on the world. Um, emotionally, you need a uh, high priestess, sacred knowledge, unconscious, um, divine, feminine, intuitiveness. Um, usually the feminine energy is more intuitive with what's going on in the world than the masculine energy. Masculine en energy is more the bronze of the alpha, if you get my drift. So it kind of blocks out any spiritual magnitude coming through. So, uh, could be hard, but at the same time, uh, you know, if you're, you know, keeping your head down, working a grind, you don't really have too much time to meditate, take in the world around you. So mentally what you need is the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is feminine, loving, warmth, kindness, um, sensitivity. So it could just be that you just need somebody who's you know, the opposite of what you are or on the same wavelength, um, but has a different perspective on the same thing. Which is fine. Um, we all need that sometimes. Alright. Then we have spirituality. What you need. Um, justice. <laughs> justice is um, fairness, legal disputes, cause and effect, life lessons. You need somebody who's, who's seen it, who's done it, or maybe you're a little naive yourself and you need to learn a few things about um, being on your own and life in general. So it's either you or somebody else. Um, you want somebody who's mature or you want to be mature, whichever it is. Or you might be growing up, who knows. Um, uh, it could be a little bit of both. Um, what you're currently feeling, let's see, is the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles in reverse is having to wait a long time, not seeing returns overnight, requires more patience than most people have. Um, I, I don't, I don't know what um, you're working on or what's going on. Maybe you're healing, maybe you're growing, maybe you're just waiting on somebody. Um, but whatever the case is, it's a lot of waiting. Um, it's testing the patience of a saint for sure. Um, but you know, you can, you have two choices, either wait, move on, heal, readjust, grow, learn a new skill. 
Um, anyway, group two, I hope this was insightful, and if you like what I'm doing on here, um, leave a like. If you like what this channel is doing, subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, ideas for my next video, I read everything you give me. So just leave it in the comment section and I'll read that. I'll respond. It'll be exciting. Um, thank you for watching group two. I will see you in the next one. All right. Bye now. The Apple Group. Alright, Apple Group, what you physically need right now is the King of Swords. The King of Swords is an astute man, authority, leader, or fatherly figure. Um, so a masculine. Uh, masculine. Alright, um, and then we have your emotional need. Your emotional need is the devil. It is not a bad card. It just looks bad because, um, yeah, the Jabberwockies on there. Um, yeah, but the devil card's not bad. It's just like a thing that um, shows your own morality as a human being and being tied to a realm of reality. That is where you need to be part of animated clay. Um, anyway, we have material focus, trapped in bondage, um, addiction, negative thinking portrayed. So, um, it could be a little bit of depression. Um, and it can also be feeling a little trapped in your situation. But, um, I do feel like this is more self-restraining than most. Um, but, yeah, it could be addictions, too. But, it's you trying to heal from something that, um, was self-inflicted in some cases. Um, some people handle things very differently from other people where they turn to drugs and stuff when they're at their lowest point or at their highest point. So they try to keep the momentum of that high going, um, so that they don't have to deal with their own stuff. But you might have to deal with your own stuff in order to heal. Um, if you don't heal, then it prolongs the healing process, which can be a problem. And it doesn't allow too many good things to happen to you, if you haven't noticed. Um, mentally, what you need is the King of Cups. The King of Cups is good advice, creativity, wisdom, reliability, tolerance. Mm. There's not too many people that give good advice. I've noticed. Um, yeah, me not getting sleep is a problem for most people, too. Because, you know, my ideas come when I sleep. Anyway, that's kind of what you're looking for. You're looking for somebody with good advice, wisdom. Um, maybe a little bit of self-expression. Long-term results. And then we have spiritually what you need. Strength card. Strength card is strength, courage, compassion, focus, influence. So courage and strength. So, like, you can be your own hype man. I know Steve-O is. Um, 
But yeah, with strength, I don't have anxiety about anything or nothing. Because, like, you're only hurting yourself, giving yourself a panic attack over something that may or may not go your way. You're dealing with a 50-50 chance. And, you know, if it's not going to hurt me either way, might as well just go for it. Um, but yeah, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Um, if you're kind of doing something, or you're going to do something, or you're thinking about doing something, the thing is, is that it's either, it's kind of like an interview. It's like you have ten inter interviews, and you're going to go into each one. If they don't hire you at one place, you have nine other ones. If you know, if it gets to half, you have half chance of getting hired at one. You already marked off five. So you just go with that. Um, and you try to at least get one out of the five to be your job. Hopefully it's the one that pays the most, you know what I mean? But if not, then, you know, you just kind of go with it. But it's the same with everything, really. And if you're worried about it, something like that, then, you know, there's strength in numbers in a lot of cases. It might not be in your ally pocket of the game, but uh, you have to kind of work with it. And then we have how you currently feel right now, which is the Three of Cups in reverse. Um, you overlook the negative you don't want to rock the boat. Um, you or your associates party too much. Um, so you're kind of uh, <gasps> liquid courage people. Ah, fun. Alright. That means that you're afraid of being alone. You're afraid of not being a part of the herd of people. I never understood why people put themselves in such a case. But yeah, you kind of want to be a part of something. Whether it's good for you or not is beside the point. You want to be a part of something because you have a suspicious need to be dogmatic and go along with the crowd without being influential in your own right and having your own belief system. Which is fine until you reach a certain age and then you kind of slip into the high school click fest instead of being an independent thinker. So you're actually prolonging your own development um, of being an individual. Um, it's easier to be part of a herd, I'm sure, but being an individual where you have your own belief system, your own rights and responsibilities is, you know, neither here nor there. But, um, it is part of a growing system, so. Every plant needs water. Every plant doesn't need to be the same. And <laughs> you have to kind of figure that out for yourself. Anyway, if you like this reading, group three, the apple group, leave a like. If you like what I'm doing on here, subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or ideas for my next video, leave them in the comment section below and I will read those. And hopefully this helped you out where you kind of can di differentiate between stuff so you can grow yourself. Um, I will see you in the next video. Bye now.